Attention West Colfax residents. This is a community notification of a new sexually violent predator in your area. Please stay tuned to the following short program for more information. Hi, I'm Technician Ron Hackett with the Denver Police Department. The Sex Offender Registration and Compliance Unit at DPD is responsible for the registration, monitoring, and tracking of all registered sex offenders and sexually violent predators who live in the city and county of Denver. Here's a brief history of sex offender legislation in Colorado. Our state laws trickle down from federal government mandates. In 1994, we had the Jacob Wetterling Act, which mandated that states would establish a sex offender list. Megan's Law of 1996 said that the public would have access to those sex offender registration lists. The Pam Lichner Act of 1996 stated that some offenders might have to have lifetime registrations. And the Adam Walsh Act of 2006 unified sex offender laws across the country. In Colorado, the legislature has determined that sexually violent predators, by definition, pose a higher risk to the community at large and therefore mandated that upon their release from the Department of Corrections, the community must be notified. Sex offender notification in Colorado happens in two ways. The first is passive and ongoing through the sex offender registration process, which is a list maintained by local police departments. The second way is active via community notification for those offenders determined to be sexually violent predators by the courts or by the parole board. Most sex offenders in Colorado are supervised by the criminal justice system in our communities. Most sex offenders engage in crossover behavior, which means they may have been arrested for one type of crime, but be apt to commit another. Many sex offenders have no criminal history at all prior to their arrest. There is no typical sex offender, but all tend to be deceptive, manipulative, and secretive. 80 to 93% of sex offenses are committed by someone known to the victim. Sexual deviancy begins in mid to late adolescence. Sex offenses are not impulsive. They are usually carefully planned, and most sex offenders are male. The community has a vested interest in helping offenders to be successfully managed in the community. Sex offenders have the same need for housing and employment as any other citizen. Any citizen who uses sex offender information to harass, threaten, or intimidate an offender will be subject to criminal prosecution. There are approximately 16,500 registered sex offenders in the state of Colorado. About 65% of convicted sex offenders are placed in the community on probation. The remainder are in the Department of Corrections or Community Corrections. Offenders may be caught for one type of offense, but be at a high risk to commit another type. Crime of conviction is only one indicator of risk. A sexually violent predator must register with the Denver Police Department Sex Offender Registration Unit every three months for the rest of their life. The offender's residence must be verified quarterly by the Denver Police Department. The full sex offender registration list is available by calling the Denver Police Department Identification Bureau at 720-913-6756. Convicted felons and those with multiple convictions are posted online at denvergov.org slash police. Remember, Sexually violent predators do not represent all dangerous sex offenders. The community notification process and sex offender registration are not a complete deterrent to sexual assault. Now, here's a look at the newest sexually violent predator living in Denver. Here's an overview of the registered sex offenders currently living in Denver. There are 2,405 total living within city limits. In Denver Police District 1, there are 247. Precinct 122 has 73 registered sex offenders. Of those, 55 have felony convictions and 18 have misdemeanor convictions. Jaime Matthew Soto is a sexually violent predator currently living in Denver. He's 43 years old and was born on April 19, 1980. He's a Hispanic male, 5 feet 7 inches tall, 180 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes. He's currently living as a transient near West Irving Street and West Colfax Avenue in the West Colfax neighborhood of Denver. Schools located within one mile of this offender include Lake Middle School and Stride Prep Lake, both at 1820 Lowell Boulevard, Cowell Elementary at 4540 West 10th Avenue, Eagleton Elementary at 880 Hooker Street, Fairview Elementary at 2715 West 11th Avenue, Cheltenham Elementary at 1580 Julian Street, Colfax Elementary at 1526 Tennyson Street, Yeshiva Torres at 1555 North Stewart Street, Escuela de Guadalupe at 660 North Julian Street. Parks located within one mile of this offender include Rood Park, Sloan's Lake Park, Halleck Park, Diamond Hill Promenade, Platte River at Elitch Gardens, 
Martinez Park, Weir Gulch Marina Park, Sanchez Park, Lakewood Dry Gulch Park, Lower Lakewood Gulch, Sandoz Park, Gates Crescent Park, Jefferson Park. Recreation centers located within one mile of this offender include Rood Rec Center at 2855 West Holden Place. Bus routes located within one mile of this offender include Route 16, West Colfax Avenue and King Street, West Colfax Avenue and Knott's Court, West Colfax Avenue and Irving Street. Routes 14 and 1, West 14th Avenue and Irving Street. Route 1, West 14th Avenue and Java Court, West 14th Avenue and Julian Street. Route 20, West 17th Avenue and Irving Street. A brief history of charges against this offender. Contributing to the delinquency of a minor and attempted sexual assault on a child position of trust. He's currently on probation and registered with the Denver Police Department on July 26, 2023 as a transient living near West Irving Street and West Colfax Avenue in the West Colfax neighborhood of Denver. Past charges against this offender include sexual assault on a child, position of trust, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, child abuse, obstruction, false report, kidnapping, assault, domestic violence, cruelty towards children, forgery, menacing, fraud impersonation, theft, weapons charges, narcotics charges, probation violation, disorderly conduct, harassment, traffic violations. Jaime Matthew Soto has been determined a sexually violent predator after meeting the following criteria. Criteria 1, age 18 or older on the date of the offense, or under 18 and tried as an adult. The offender was age 30 at the time of the offense. Criteria 2, the crime must have been committed on or after July 1, 1997 and convicted on or after July 1, 1999. Crimes include sexual assault, felony unlawful sexual contact, sexual assault on a child, sexual assault on a child by a person in a position of trust. The offender was convicted on February 23, 2021 for attempted sexual assault on a child. Criteria 3, the relationship to the victim was one of the following. Victim was a stranger to the offender, or the offender established or promoted a relationship with the victim primarily for the purpose of sexual victimization. The 14-year-old juvenile female victim was known to the offender. Criteria 4. Positive results or the passing of a risk assessment instrument administered by probation parole staff and a qualified treatment evaluator. Positive results include an assessment for the presence of a mental abnormality, a level of denial regarding the offense, treatment appropriateness and motivation, presence of sexual deviant interests. The offender was evaluated by the Adams County Courts with positive results, determining him to be a sexually violent predator.